Um, my formal report is in the, um, in the annual report, um, which, is, which you have before you, and I'm just now going to provide a few comments and summary um, of that matter that's in the financial report. Sorry, in the, in the total report. I'm pleased to report on behalf of the board that the 2009-10 period was a, a very successful one for St Lawrence Community Services. Our services continue to strongly focus on delivering service in line with the needs of the diverse client groups who come to be to us for, for, an assist, for assistance. In our, we are a very diverse organisation uh, covering a lot of different activities in our in our community services field. A significant initiative progressed by the board over the recent period was the development of a three-year strategic plan. The board was assisted in this process by contributions from the executive team and the middle management group. Managers of St Lawrence were actively involved in reviewing our vision statement and our values, ensuring the St Lawrence mission remains relevant to a workforce which grows in diversity. Uh, I'm pleased to, uh, that you may note that helping people help themselves, our key statement uh, remains as the, as the uh, simple uh, brief description of what we're about. So helping people out and help themselves is still there. In June this year, we formally endorsed the strategic plan, which is built around three core pillars. And they are, of course, our clients, our people, and our communities. I commend this strategic plan to members. The strategic goals articulated within the plan provide our directors, our members, and most importantly, the, the 500 staff that we have with clearly articulated directions to achieve a secure, long-term future. Achieving the goals will place us in good stead to address new challenges in the coming years for growing the capacity of St Lawrence to continue to deliver innovative services to those in need. We've also launched our website at the annual dinner in August. The board has also noted a key component of the organisation's internal focus has been on participative leadership. This has been expressed through the, the executive team's active encouragement of a new middle management group with clearly articulated responsibility for local decision making and accountability. The revitalised staff consultative committee also demonstrates to the directors a strong and active interest from the workforce in looking after the welfare and well-being of our employees. These initiatives harness the willingness and the goodwill of our workforce to work as a team and increases the resilience of our people as our workforce. St Lawrence finished the period with a strong financial result, and I'll leave matters of finance to Jeff Williams in a moment. I'm very heartened this year that it that this year was characterised by many achievements which have laid the foundations for future stability and success. I wish to thank all the members of the board, past and present, for the very significant personal time and commitment they give to the association and the contributions that each of them make to our important work. I think it's fitting that we show these directors a sign of our appreciation. Thank you.